Okay, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to use uh, the most recent, as of this date, auto splitting uh, software that I wrote for running Super Hot VR Any Percent. Um, so, first off, you want to go ahead and go on to our speedrun.com page, speedrun.com slash shvr. All these links will be in the description that I talk about. Um, and you want to find Any Percent Auto Splitter. Right now, version 3, so if you see version 3, you are on the right. Uh, right track for this tutorial. If not, you might want to look for a more updated tutorial. Um, but you can go ahead and just click this and it'll, it'll start a download and you should have the zip that will actually uh, have the file in it. So you get that, you unzip it, and then you get into this folder. So in this folder is the program that you actually care about, autosplit.exe. I apologize for it being in all this mess, but it needs to be in there for how the program works, so it's just in there. Um, what I'd recommend is going ahead and uh, copying, going again, do a little bit of a copy, and then wherever you want it, let's put it on the desktop for right now, uh, paste shortcut. So then it will run it from there, which because it needs to be there, but it, uh, you can click it in a more convenient spot. You don't have to go through all that garbage. Um, uh, but nonetheless, that's, that's really uh, the it of starting it. That's all there is to it. So you go ahead and double-click it, and you get this cute little... Uh, little guy here that will uh, be your whole program that will do it and so what this is gonna do just so that you know how it works is it's gonna just sit in the background it's gonna be reading your save file and whenever it detects that you uh, change levels because in the save file it uh, has your most recent level whenever it detects there's a change there it will go ahead and press a, uh, a key simulate a key press that will go ahead and use your splitting software to split for you so that's all it's doing it's just sitting in the background waiting for changes and pressing keys when it notices them um, so in order to do that, you need to have a split key, um, whatever key you want. There's a whole giant list of keys here that uh, it can press for you. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, we'll use the end key, and that's what my live split is set up to be. So you're going to want to do whatever key you want to split there. And then you're going to want to go ahead and download live split, because, you know, this is an auto splitter. You actually need splitting software in order for this to be even remotely useful. So go ahead and uh, you can either Google Live Split, click a link in the description, but go ahead and download Live Split is the splitting software I use. Obviously, you can use whatever you want, but for this tutorial, we'll go over Live Split since it's the most common. Um, and you can go ahead and download that. I'm not going to tell you how to install Live Split, but you end up with something that, after some modifications, looks like this, and this is what Live Split is. Um, so this is what will actually do the splits. You know, I can I can press keys and it'll start doing a timer, and then you can keep track of stuff, and it'll go through. Hey, look, I'm, I'm on world record pace easily because this is ridiculous times, all that fun stuff. Um, so now we need the live split program to match up with the uh, the actual auto splitter program that we have. So this is set to the end key. So let's go ahead and change into the settings for this to be set to the end key. And see it here. And just click it, press whatever key it is, and there you go. I would also recommend turning on global hotkeys um, because then you don't need to be selected into the live split window. Um, and just wherever you are, the split key will work. And that's really nice because Super Hot VR wants to be on top, so uh, live split will be unhappy if it's not on top unless you have global hotkeys turned on. So make sure you have that turned on. That's just a side note. Uh, but then that should be good. So now it should be press pressing the right key with your splitting program. Um, the only other step is to set up your save directory, so you need to go ahead and tell my little program uh, where it is your save file is because it's trying to read from the save file. So to do that, we're going to need to get the path to our save file. Now what you want to do, um, let's see, you can't quite see this, so I will go ahead and open up a little um, notepad real quick. Uh, just in the in the bottom left on your Windows uh, start thing, search bar thing at the bottom left, um, you want to just go ahead and do percent app data percent. This is the easiest way to get to it. You can get to it manually, but this is the easiest way to get it. Just type that in the little bar, um, and it should take you to something that looks like this. You don't have a bunch of stuff in there. And so you'll be in app data roaming. You want to just go back one into app data. You want to go into local low. You want to go to super hot team and super hot VR. And this is the this is the folder that you want. You're probably going to have less stuff in here. You're probably not going to have these three. These are, don't worry about those. Um, you might not even have your super dot hot. But this is the directory that it's looking for. Because this is the save file that it's looking for. That's what it wants to read. This is what it wants. Um, and so what you do is then you can just go ahead and click right there. Control C. 
copy it on over, go to your go to the auto splitter software, um, control V V that baby and click set and now it should be good. Um, and that's really all you need to set it up. Now we'll not look at that directory, it'll just be looking for this uh, this file whenever it's running. Um, to be checking it and it will be pressing your split key and that's all you need. Um, this stuff will save uh, you don't need to set it up every single time because that would be kinda ridiculous. Um, so if we go ahead and close that it will go ahead and uh, just be ready next time. Ooh, See this is why you want to go ahead and do that shortcut like I said. Um, but anyways, that's that's it for the auto splitter. I'm gonna go ahead and say a few bonus things um, that it will be useful to know. But that's that, that's all you need to actually get it set up, um, assuming you get everything working right. Yeah, I see it saved everything. So with live split, there's one thing that you should know um, is that all it's doing right is in the background and just splitting and splitting and splitting. Um, what that won't cover is when you get a gold because the way that this works, if we can go ahead and uh, get a gold real quick. You see how we get a gold? Alright, so, so let's say we get a gold, and we're like, oh, well, I, I messed up on Dojo. Uh, you know, I'm now plus 50. This isn't going to be a, this isn't gonna be a PB, so I want to reset. So if you reset, it pops up with this window, because you got a gold and says, hey, you have beaten some of your times. Do you want to update them? So the problem here is if you just uh, reset it, uh, didn't look at your screen, just are still in the VR headset, and try to go uh, and, uh, and play uh, more super hot without actually looking at this. Um, the auto splitter software will not be working because now this window is overtaking the normal live split window. So pressing the end key will not work. It will uh, it will not actually be splitting here because this is the main thing. You have to either click no or yes, and now it'll come back. And now pressing the end key will actually work. Um, you see right here, if I'm, I'm I'm spamming the end key, which is my split key, and it doesn't do anything. So. Uh, it, it doesn't cover gold. So you'll either need to pay attention each time um, after you reset and check and make sure if you got any golds to do that. Um, or what I do, because I like to not take off the headset a lot of times, is that in my splits you can edit them manually and go to the go and change your gold times manually. So you can see I set all my gold times to one second because none of those splits are going to be less than a second, so I will never gold. Now the pro of this is I don't need to uh, deal with the whole pop-up message that will ruin my auto splitter, and the con of it is that I will not be able to actually, you know, store my golds because they'll never be gold. And I don't mind that because uh, my best runs are going to be in individual level runs anyways, so I don't really care that much. But uh, I know Fajad, a good runner right now, uh, does like that, so he just pays attention after every run to see if he got any golds, and then deals with the pop-up menu accordingly. The other thing is that if you're going to be running this game a lot, you know, I see I have 364, it's actually far more than that, this is just how long I've been using the auto-splitter software, but I have a lot of runs, and that's a lot of resetting to try to get my best time. And one thing that the auto-splitter doesn't do is it doesn't help you reset, because that's not something that can really uh, happen automatically. Um, that's something that you're choosing to do. Uh, so what I do, and what I would recommend you do, is you go ahead and download Voice Attack. I'll put a link in the description. The Voice Attack is this nice little thing that is not happy when OBS is running, apparently. Uh, but this nice little software that's listening to what I'm saying. You can see it uh, pick some of that up. And you can go ahead and set voice commands to work. So um, what I recommend doing is that whenever you want to restart a run, you want to click your reset button, which is just in your settings here, just like the split key was. Um, you want to delete your save file. Um, so, like we, you know, like we said, we how we found the save file earlier. Percent app data percent. Go to local low. That's back one. Wherever we are, um, you for any percent you need to start from fresh, fresh save file. So you delete that, um, and then you're good to go. So then you can hop back in, and since it's re it, it, res it resets there and then all that. So I I did that with. Uh, with voice attack. I did it so that whenever I say, you see, command reset, then it will go ahead and actually do all that for me. So that's a, that's just a recommendation um, I just, uh, for what to do with uh, doing resets, because the auto-splitter software will not help you with that. So, uh, but voice attack is really easy to use, so go ahead and uh, try to use it. Otherwise, just do the reset yourself, you know, close, uh, go on to your actual desktop, just right-click, close, super hot, uh, delete the save file. I'd recommend setting up a .bat 
um, to actually delete it for you so you don't have to actually do percent app data percent go to there all that fun stuff you can actually just set up a quick little thing I'll go ahead and show you what mine looks like just because I'm rambling on anyways during this little bonus section um, do do you yeah, see uh, no, no no that's not it I want super out run there we go yeah that's bad boy so you can just set up a little bat that will delete it for you so very basic you know the same path that you used for the auto splitting software um, just delete the delete the save file um, so when you run that bat that's what it'll do and it'll delete that and so that's really convenient and so what when voice attack what I did um, is it runs that bat so my command reset looks like um, press page down which is my reset key close the super hot process because you need it to be closed and then run that application which leads to save file then I'm ready to go then I can hop back into it so I can just have the uh, auto split running in the background and then whenever I want to reset I literally just say command reset and it will do it so there you go that's a bunch of bonus stuff if you guys need help the whole gold stuff the whole reset stuff hopefully all that's understandable enough um, all the links in the description and uh, thank you for being interested in the super hot community and uh, check out the discord if you uh, if you're even more interested thanks for watching